Hello guys, uh, please tell me if you can hear me. Um, sorry for that uh, delay because there were some issues with the, uh, the Windows system that I'm using to stream. Uh, it crashed for the second time today and uh, uh, it doesn't want to, to work properly, it seems. Um, if uh, anyone is on the street on the chat please tell me if you can hear me uh, well or if you can see my uh, screen let me see because Hello, Liverlord. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, uh, <laughs> a lot of issues today. It seems that while the the weather gets uh, hotter and hotter, the systems are not uh, uh, working properly and uh, deny to to cooperate. <laughs> that's uh, that's a problem, I guess, uh, with the weather or uh, because I didn't stream from the previous uh, days. So. Uh, I hope that everything will go uh, better from now on. Uh, hello, Aris Amika, welcome to the stream. Um, hello, proper introduction. Uh, hello, I'm George. Uh, you can find me as uh, Volcero in various Amiga forums. Uh, this is my stream and uh, welcome. I would like to welcome uh, everyone of you. Uh, we, uh, in my streams, we are talking about Amiga uh, operating systems and uh, we tried to visit all the flavors we had uh, streams about amiga os 3.2 amiga os 4 and now we visit the morphos um hello uh, you you are lucky we have tor torrential uh, rain here and it's freezing oh oh my god we have something like uh, 15 percent uh, 15 uh, degrees of celsius here in uh, dublin in ireland and the uh, we are not used in such a weather so it's too hot for us uh, and uh, inside the room that i am streaming right now it's really really hot because i have the uh, sun uh, just straight ahead of me and it's uh, it's uh, really hot so um in the previous uh, streams we visited as well uh, morphos um, we have seen uh, all the preferences and all the tools that um, come with the operating system and how exactly can you change it to look and feel and uh, work the way that you you prefer to um, i'm using in my streams my powerbook g4 that you can see here and uh, that uh, has only morphos installed in there so we uh, see how it works in such a computer uh, and uh, this is something that you can take a good um, taste on how uh, uh, Morphos works on this kind of computers in case you find something like that and you would like to try this out uh, for today uh, for today i'm thinking to discuss about uh, internet most of the time, uh, most of our computer time, we are spending uh, visiting uh, websites and uh, listening online music or uh, communicating with our friends or colleagues with emails. So I would like to, to show you today uh, what uh, you can use on Morphos. What can you uh, find useful and the applications that I recommend to use on Morphos? There are a few good uh, applications that will uh, um, solve your, uh, any of uh, issues that you might have uh, for using um, uh, websites that have some, uh, uh, let's say, uh, big requirements from uh, uh, computers and uh, I'm talking about websites that 
uh, use extensively JavaScript and I am looking at you, Aris Amiga uh, and uh, they uh, tend to be quite bloated and uh, heavy for systems like that that have one CPU and uh, usually they run uh, in lower uh, uh, speed than 2 uh, gigahertz so uh, without further ado let's let's uh, start and um, first of all music online music uh, we uh, listen to music right now from my beloved uh, imp the infinite music player it downloads online uh, mods we have uh, I have uh, talked about this for a long uh, for many times let me uh, open some lighting because I'm afraid you will not be able to see me in a few uh, uh, minutes so uh, imp is a very nice uh, application that you can find on Amiga OS 3 and uh, it works uh, for uh, Morphos and uh, Amiga OS 4 just fine uh, and we listen to music from that it downloads mods, seed files, XM files from uh, Aminet and other sources and uh, plays them one by one and you can create your own uh, favorite list if you want you can share with others the, the, the uh, songs that you like and also uh, it has uh, an online uh, area where you can chat with uh, other people that are using it. Um, it's a very nice application because it also has its own community which is a very good uh, thing uh, where you can meet others as well and uh, there are um, uh, it's, it's let's say uh, a donation where and uh, if you donate to the developer he is going to grant you with extra features like you are going to have uh, space on his uh, server to store files or um, songs and things like that and also you will be able to play games straight ahead from the imp but it's a very nice uh, application let me see if i can move it in the main screen uh, So you can have a look. Here it is. Here we have the uh, chat uh, area, and here is uh, the the mod. Uh, file that is playing you can see the uh, pattern of it and also in this window you can see the users that are currently online and here in this window at the right that I have it right here is um, the information that this module uh, has in it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and you can go and see the, your favorites uh, a new window comes up and you have all your favorite uh, songs here and you can click on one of them and listen to that or there are a couple of different modes like here and you can see a select if you want to listen to songs that uh, you marked as uh, your liked uh, songs uh, or uh, songs that someone uh, liked, at least one liked it, or uh, sets about uh, specific songs or uh, songs that you never played. And um, Imp rotates between the uh, songs and you just put it at the back and uh, it uh, plays at the background. Uh, you can select if you want to open it in a screen. So usually when I'm using uh, my PowerBook I open IMP in a separate screen on uh, my uh, PowerBook monitor and I have it 
beside me listening to music like that uh, let me stop that right now so you can hear me uh, quite well and that's the one application that you can use for music uh, of course there are a lot more for example there is um, let me see what I have here music there is RNO radio which is a, a radio application it has uh, different ways uh, to look uh, it has some skins for example this one here or let me find a, a black one a dark one like this and you can uh, play music from online radio stations I prefer the uh, simple MUI uh, skin because you can minimize that and leave it playing at the background and you can have uh, different radio stations here for example uh, let's say we can select Slay Radio and uh, you can select one of these uh, channels and play some music from there like that and uh, you can add also your own uh, streams if you want uh, and uh, select them whenever you want to to listen to music RNO radio it's a very good uh, application is um, created I think with uh, Hollywood and uh, is created by JPV he has made so many applications uh, very good applications for uh, Amiga OS 4 and Morphos and Amiga OS 3 so uh, have a look on that and uh, of course you can uh, have AmiNet Radio AmiNet Radio it's an old uh, application that you can use uh, to listen to uh, local music or uh, online music if you have the right um, URL of the uh, radio station and it looks like that we can see that later when uh, I will show you a good way to discover uh, radio stations and uh, how you can play them uh, in uh, radio uh, in AMI net radio uh, we can see that in a moment so um, there are plenty of uh, options for uh, listening to, to music uh, for video there are not that many options uh, for um, viewing uh, streaming online uh, video uh, there is a way to there is a version of um, uh, M player that uh, is able to play uh, online uh, video of course and um, there is an older version of uh, FF, uh, FF play and uh, you can use that also for uh, online uh, video uh, have in mind that uh, M player will be able to play only uh, recording, recordings of uh, video for example from YouTube it will be able to play this uh, video just fine but it is not the best uh, option to, to use for streaming video from um, real-time uh, from live uh, streams for example from uh, Twitch because it's uh, the way that M player works with the files that uh, Twitch and other uh, services like that streaming services like that uh, are sending so uh, as you might know um, from my uh, Amiga OS 4 uh, streams I have created some scripts that uh, use Python and uh, they are working quite well in, on Morphos as well uh, I, uh, those streams are called AIO streams so you can use them to stream from Twitch any uh, video that you would like and we can see uh, later how you can do it and uh, yeah there is a package of uh, FFmpeg uh, but have in mind the latest version of uh, FFmpeg 4 uh, Morphos that is out there doesn't have the version the FFplay the FFplay is a command that opens a, a player and can be used with AIO streams 
and is um, uh, the the only option that there is on Morphos to play um, live streams uh, videos from um, streaming uh, services like I said before other than that you can use of course um, the browsers to do uh, video streaming and we can see uh, right uh, later how they are working and all this stuff I will uh, show you how they are working on this PowerBook uh, G4 um, the M player is having also a, a version where you can start with a, a nice GUI and from here, uh, let me see, from this uh, icon you can uh, enter here a URL so if you have uh, the a YouTube uh, URL uh, for the video, not the one that is at the, at the browser but the video URL which uh, you can find either from AIO streams or uh, from um, other online uh, services that can expose to you uh, the, the video URL you can enter it here and uh, play the video it's not the easiest way to do it uh, and I will show you how uh, in my opinion which is the best way to, to view uh, YouTube in a few uh, minutes so um, one way to, to watch videos on YouTube is Amitube this is a fair new uh, application uh, and let's see how it is uh, looking uh, I have the version uh, 1.0 I don't know if there is any uh, newer version Amitube is developed um, in uh, Pascal let's see uh, yeah it is developed by ALB42 you might uh, know him from other applications like the uh, new Maparium that you have the for the map uh, online map on your system and uh, what you can do here is uh, write down uh, what you need to search on uh, uh, YouTube for example that and it will uh, fetch that information from YouTube and uh, show a list of uh, videos um, from the developer uh, he recommends to only use videos uh, to use Amitube with videos that are not too long in uh, um, in length uh, you can select here uh, the uh, the file type that you are going to use let me click here load preview it will show the main screenshot of uh, the video and uh, you can select if you want to uh, that video to be converted to CDXL uh, for OCS or AGA. This application uh, was created uh, based on a requirement to, to be able to play um, YouTube videos on plain classic Amigas. That's why it has that, uh, those uh, options there to, to convert it uh, to CDXL. Of course, if you select something like that, it will take some time to convert all the video and then download it on your system. Uh, on uh, Morphos uh, it is possible to, to play it uh, straight ahead um, by if I'm not wrong by clicking here on get original you can select the resolution uh, let's select the 360p and It, it uses some player to play the video as you can see here yeah 
it used uh, the M player to play the video. And this is something that you can set up on your on the um, in the configuration on the, in the preferences of the application. You can select, if I'm not wrong, download URL. What it can use, play URL. If you can see here, I set up the M player, and uh, and I set it play with that uh, version. And uh, actually, what it does. Um, is the server of the developer downloads that video on uh, his uh, storage and then feeds that video to you that's why you can also uh, download the video if you want by clicking on that and starts uh, downloading the video uh, on your system uh, that's why he recommends not to use uh, long videos for example um, 77 uh, minutes like this one uh, it is recommended to not use this one uh, but if you want to get the original you can do it also he has um, a, an option and the information on how you can set up your own uh, server on your local uh, environment let's say you have um, a raspberry pi or another computer that can uh, be used to download uh, the videos uh, he has uh, information and you can uh, find that let's let me open a, a browser if you go to alb42 dot dot let's search um, ALB 42 Army Cube uh, here, yeah, blog at uh, dot ALB 42 dot D slash Army Cube. There he has all the information about this client and uh, what you can do uh, to set up your your browser. Your sorry, you to set up your server, your own server. Here you can find all this information if you want to do it. Um, as you have seen, the application is quite easy to be to to use, and uh, you can find more uh, information at his uh, website. Let's say if we search for Morphos, let's see if there are uh, any information, any videos about that. Um, Amitube is like what I had in my mind to create based on a, an easier way to use the AIO scripts. Okay, uh, but I will show you uh, other ways to, to play those videos as well. So, Amitube is one way, um, and for uh, the next, let's talk about emails. Um, for Morphos, there is a very good application that is called Iris. Uh, this is one of the newest applications for uh, an email client. Um, which unfortunately I don't have uh, it here set up with my uh, account but it's the absolute solution for emails on your system uh, because it supports IMAP and uh, SMTP and POP3 uh, emails and it's uh, quite um, modern on the way that it works it has in this area here in the middle it uh, shows you a list of uh, all the emails that you uh, you have and by clicking one of them you see here at the left at the right uh, you see the email and if it is an html email it shows that uh, perfect uh, over there and of course you can reply you can uh, 
forward an email you can create your own emails you have uh, you can print and do whatever you expect to do from an email client it's very nice it was created by Yasek uh, the same developer behind Wayfarer the browser that we are going to see in a few minutes and um, yeah i don't see why you should uh, use any other mail client on morphos except uh, iris all the others you can use uh, yam you can use um, simple mail for example uh, but they they have a, they stopped uh, maintained for a long time and they have a lot of issues and they are not uh, as modern as uh, iris so um I would say that use uh, Iris as uh, your email solution for uh, Morphos. Uh, can you please tell me if the, the sound is uh, uh, good and you can hear me quite well? Or if there are any problems with the video because I'm seeing some uh, red lights in my OBS here and make me feel a little bit worried so um, Iris is the best uh, solution right now it is in version 1.3 I released a few months ago and uh, and uh, let me see if there are any issues with the chat. So, uh, MX says, yes, I use him when working at home. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's perfect, right? The only thing that uh, I am using when I don't have access to, to Imp and to listen that uh, kind of music is uh, um, the mod player that uh, AI, AIB, sorry, EAB uh, English Amiga board has, um, I think it's mods.eab. something like that. And um, let me let me find it for you, which is an online player and plays uh, music randomly, and uh, really good. A B uh, mods I don't know if it works on uh, OWB I doubt that it works there but uh, just to find the uh, the URL Yeah, that's the one. Mods.abime.net. Hello, P. I'm doing I'm doing well, although that today I'm uh, really uh, stressed because of the whole situation with the <laughs> Windows system that I'm using to stream. Thanks for asking. Yeah, that's the website that uh, I use whenever I don't have access to Imp, and uh, it has a, a good collection of uh, mods. Uh, to listen to any other uh, browser um, MXS and Iris is my email client even works better than Thunderbird for me yeah it's it's quite uh, well done uh, Iris I use that on my Morphos uh, system that I have the installation on my X5000 but I don't have that uh, set up here uh, I try to set it up uh, earlier before the stream, but I had some issues um, with the Hotmail client. Uh, if you want, if you go and open Iris, it asks you. Here is one thing that you have to have in mind. 
uh, it asks you to create a new uh, account right so if you click on any of these it tries to to use a uh, wayfarer it is better to have a wayfarer uh, open before you open iris because uh, when it does it tries to do the connection uh, and starts wayfarer afterwards uh, it doesn't work quite well for example let's say that i want to add a, a new account for outlook and add here george and that's my mail on hotmail okay if you click next it tries to open the wayfarer here logically yeah continue in wayfarer web browser and you see that it stacks uh, it uh, stuck here in uh, the start page and it's not possible to to move on so the solution for that is to have a wayfarer open and then try to add an account you will see that if i do the same thing next it will redirect me to the page of uh, microsoft the microsoft page that i need to use to login uh, i didn't manage to complete that because that page is not working well on wayfarer for some reason and um, yeah but i know that uh, creating a gmail account on iris is working fine because i done that on my x5000 and it's working quite well uh op says i got a, a amiga 500 today so i'm su super good today that's that's perfect op well done well done uh it's a, just a plain uh, 500 it's uh, it has some extra ram or uh any accelerator what do you plan to do with that any pi storm uh, ideas in your in your head mx says uh, thanks i'll try those mods uh, at work yeah they they are fine they are very good as you can see this is not working well because you can add here your password but there's no way to to move on so yeah i will report that to yasek uh, in case he can find a way to to fix it because it is crucial for iris as well um and uh, yeah other than music uh, and emails one way to to communicate with your friends also is irc of course irc is an old uh, way to discuss with people and um, in um, groups in channels in um, places where people who are using the same things uh, gather all the time and um, Morphos has one of the latest versions of AM, AMI IRC AMI IRC is one of the oldest um, IRC clients and maybe the best client in any platform in my opinion is the best out there and um, yeah the uh, Morphos developers also maintain AMI IRC uh, and they release uh, newer versions i think the newest one was released uh, just a few months ago and uh, morphos uh, team can be found also on uh, libera uh, server you can see here the server name is irc.libera.chat uh, you can uh, join in morphos um, channel if we can connect here you will see that irc is working perfectly um, you can have it in any screen you want you can move it in a different screen oh sorry where is it you can move it in a different screen what i'm clicking 
Okay, jump to screen, new, and you can have it on its own if you want. Uh, in this channel, anyone from um, who is using a Morphos gather here. You can find me here a lot of times uh, asking questions on how we can do that or this is not working, why it is not working? <laughs> Amir C doesn't work well on my setup. It takes time to connect if it connects at all. Um, really, I never, I never had that issue, uh, Emek. Uh, the thing that you can, uh, what I did at least, it was to go to, I think, amirc.org website to get the latest one. Let me see. Yeah. Um, Amirc.org. Here it has the latest version 3.8. That's the version that was released only for um, Morphos. There's no other uh, Amiga flavor running this version. And I think you just need to download this version and uh, use it. Uh, and if I cancel a connection before it connects and close MRC, then CPU goes to 100%. Mm, really? No, no, no. I never, I never experienced something like that. It always uh, worked for me just fine. Um, I wonder if there is any uh, any uh, MCC libraries, uh, magic user interface libraries that involve in that problem that you described. Uh, have a look if you have the latest versions installed, uh, otherwise update. Uh, OP says it's all vanilla, the Amiga 500, right, with a 1.3 kickstart. Okay, I'm only thinking about the DF0 mode and use a Gotek. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just because I have uh, my two Amiga uh, 1200 that have expensive accelerators, so I don't need any more expensive Amigas. Yeah, absolutely. You have a very good uh, hardware over there, OP. And yeah, it doesn't mean that every Amiga has to be expanded to maximum. I just asked because um, PyStorm is a good uh, solution and it's not uh, so expensive. And I was wondering if you wanted to uh, experiment with this one. MX says, yes, I tried 3.8 and 3.6 and both act the same. Mm. Mm. Yeah. If it is not something like um, a magic user interface library that uh, doesn't behave well, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else. Maybe if you have a look with uh, Snoop Dogs to see if something is missing or if there is something that... Because I guess you have the latest version of Morphos, right? So it should, uh, it should work just fine. Little says goodbye, OP. Uh, I hope you have a room to set it up. <laughs> Gothic is a way to go for me. Yeah, the room, uh, the the space in a room is uh, is a problem. It is a problem. Uh, MX says I use WikiChat instead. Yeah, WikiChat is very good. The only thing that I uh, I I. It's the only the only thing that I prefer to use uh, AMRC is because AMRC is still maintained in a way. It's not it's not uh, it doesn't have so frequent uh, releases, but uh, the the developers release uh, new new versions uh, at some point. Um, so that's why I prefer uh, AMRC instead of. Uh, Wikichat. On my Amiga OS 4, I use Wikichat only when I want to connect with um, uh, the Twitch uh, chat and uh, when I'm watching a Twitch uh, stream on my OS 4, I use Wikichat to connect with the Twitch chat and uh, exchange messages with the people on the chat, which is a very good solution and it works perfectly. 
uh, oh pieces no i don't have any interest in pi storm okay I, it's not amiga for me yeah uh sorry but it's the pie that uh, do all the work yeah absolutely absolutely um mxs can you connect to more than one server in one window on amirc uh, yeah and let me show you how you can do it let's say that we connect here with morphos in one window no but in in one uh, uh execution yeah you can do it by connect thread and it opens a different window it has a, a window for each uh, server where you connect and that's the way it does with uh, the amrc and you can have uh, multiple servers with multiple channels as well um, here and you can have different uh, groups to talk with people uh, Falcon 11 says about what is this stream episode it's about Morphos and it's about um, applications that we can use to connect to internet uh, exchange messages with uh, friends and also um, we can see how you can uh, stream uh, music from uh, uh, online radio stations and we can see what solutions are there to stream video from youtube and from twitch I spoke a little bit about them uh, a few minutes ago. Now we are going to have a look on the available uh, browsers. And uh, I will show you how you can use YouTube and uh, Twitch on a Morpho system. Falcon 11. Glad you are here. Welcome. And um, yeah, uh, browsers. For me, for me no, each browser has a, its own pros and cons of course the best browser that exists on uh, morphos is wayfarer is quite new and quite modern it uses one of the latest uh, webkit uh, libraries up there so uh, the, the most of the websites are working quite well for example even if you go to uh, let's say github.com slash my github i will show you how it looks on um, wayfarer it looks perfect right and uh, there is also owb owb is the previous uh, let's say official browser of uh, morphos and um, let's see how it looks on owb and i show you the github because it is an application is a website that uses uh, a lot of javascript and that's why i show you that this, this one and let's say let's visit media vault and here media vault okay here on owb i cheat a little bit because um I'm using one of my scripts that I have uh, for uh, GitHub. And uh, if you go to, let me, let me show you, if you go to scripts, there is a GitHub uh, script that I have created and uh, it is available for everyone to use. And it fixes a little bit the, the look of uh, GitHub on OWB. 
if you don't have that uh, script it looks even worse right um, Falcon 11 says yes definitely OWB is faster Emek I will show you that uh, at the end of the uh, of the stream Wayfarer is looking almost perfect okay it's working perfectly for example you can click here on code and get the uh, pop-up and you can use it as it should uh, OWB it doesn't do so good work on that but it's faster of course there is also eyebrows and eyebrows is even worse but it's even faster right so for me as i said earlier uh, every browser uh, has its pros and cons okay and you have uh, to choose which one is best for what you want to do for example if you um, visit only uh, amiga websites for example amigans.net you might prefer to do that from OWB instead of doing that uh, with uh, Wayfarer but if you want to go and see uh, a website for news uh, or if you are a developer and you search for different things the wayfarer is much better to to show you the website uh, as they should be right but it's much slower and uh, maybe that depends also from the hardware uh, i have the powerbook g4 here which is not the strongest hardware out there for morphos but uh, and i don't know how it works on um, g5 for example it might be flawlessly fast on my x5000 it's much faster than the powerbook but also it's not that fast as you would expect it's not that fast as uh, OWB is uh, on this powerbook let's say uh, Falcon 11 says for fast news I use OWB but for example uh, for example and uh, github source force etc uh, youtube i use wayfarer uh, falcon 11 you use wayfarer on youtube and you um, and it works quite well uh, remind me please your machine that you have for morphos you have a power book like mine um, yeah you can use uh, youtube on Wayfarer as well. Uh, Libero says OWB is probably faster as it is not loading all components and not executing uh, JavaScript. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, because uh, the OWB, some things that is uh, are not supported, uh, they they break. They are not executed at all, and uh, the websites that use extensively uh, JavaScript are working quite better on uh, Wayfarer. Now the the latest ver OWB uses a WebKit from I don't know I think it's a version from 2016-2015 which is uh, cannot be compared with the one that Wayfarer is using right now the latest versions of WebKit are bigger and um, heavier, I guess. And uh, probably they expect from a computer to have uh, multiple CPUs or multiple cores and uh, work much better there. Uh, now our computers are using just one core, right? At 1.6 uh, gigahertz. It's not that it can use the, the hardware to um, uh, accelerate things. Uh, and I don't have so much uh, deep um, knowledge on how WebKit is working. What I see is that if I compare the same websites, 
that are working quite well on the same on, on both web browser OWB is faster and for me uh, I prefer to use uh, OWB on these uh, websites uh, of course if something doesn't work on OWB I will get the URL and open Wayfarer on the other hand the Morphos team um, removed the OWB browser from uh, Morphos 3.16 and upwards and I think that this is a good thing because it is um, they are pushing things forward and that's uh, positive right and you can find OWB in Morphos storage to download and use it if you want uh, OP says but I did try Apollo boot uh, Omni in my on my uh, Amiga 1200 with a nice trick this week oh the Apollo boot th the Omni is a new one Uh, Falcon 11 says I have last PowerBook G4 okay 1.67 gigahertz 1.7 gigabytes mem perfect and uh, yeah uh, as I said heavy uh, websites with a lot of JavaScript uh, are best to, to be used in Wayfarer instead of OWB although that even if you go for uh, using a website like um, Discord or WhatsApp or um, Twitch you are going to have a hard time to make it work quite well and uh, yeah I don't uh, whenever I try to use them uh, they are quite uh, slow on this uh, system on my system Little says it's uh, good to have different options no matter how old those options are absolutely uh, absolutely I agree totally with you because there is one thing that I would like to show you uh, later and has to do with uh, the online radio stations and how you can find and discover uh, radio stations and use them on uh, um, Morphos. Still, I can see that surfing on Morphos is much better experience than uh, on uh, MicaOS 4.1. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the OWB, even the OWB version of Morphos, is a little bit better than the one that uh, the than the Odyssey that comes uh, that works on uh, MicaOS 4. Uh, yeah, that's that's true. And since you have Wayfarer there, even if you don't use it every day, let's say, and uh, there is only one uh, time that you might need something better, it's, it's better to have a Wayfarer there, even if it is, uh, if it might be a little bit slow, than open your Windows machine and <laughs> visit that uh, website that you want to see something there. Uh, so uh, Wayfarer is perfect um, I use uh, both and also I use um, iBrowse which is the fastest browser out there so let me show you a, a few um, situations if you want to use for example uh, for radio stations uh, on let's say I'm in a uh, radio right AmiNet radio is a radio uh, application that used uh, to have a way to search for uh, music but unfortunately that doesn't work right now and I think that someone asked me about that in a previous um, um, in a previous stream uh, and I would like to show you about that right now um, you can search for music for radio stations through uh, AmiNet Radio but what you can do is to try to find online websites that uh, can provide information about this kind of uh, radio stations and there is one that I prefer you can actually you can go and search for Southcast radio station
and uh, the the website that I uh, prefer to use is internet dash radio dash com uh, dot com. Okay, let's try that again. Perfect. And from here, okay, accept recommended settings. And from here, you can see see uh, some uh, radio stations, right? And let's say that I like to listen to uh, rock. And I'd like to listen to, I don't know, let's say this one. What I can do is click on PLS here or M3U. These are text files that download on my system and uh, they have the URL of the radio station there. Um, Little says, I wish there is an acceleration or accelerator only, no LAN, no RTG and other whistles and bells for big box Amigas. I would buy one right away for my classic machine. Ah, okay. There are no uh, such solutions, Little Lord. No uh, terrible fires or something. I don't know, to be honest. Um, MX says, hopefully Gemini protocol will have some success and interesting things can be found there. I hope so. I hope so. And uh, Gemini is uh, supported on the last um, eyebrows that was released uh, last uh, Saturday, I think. The 2.5.6, which uh, is very good. Better for browsing internet with our systems. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Falcon says, I like Aminet Radio, I use it a lot every time I switch on Morphos. Yeah, it's very good and it's quite old. I remember I was using that on my uh, Amiga 1200 a lot of years ago, which is very, it's perfect. Uh, Liberal says, that is one fancy looking Wii for that player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's one of the uh, default uh, um, GUIs uh, skins that uh, I mean, net radio has. Uh, there are uh, plenty of different ways to to make it uh, look, and also it has a, a way to look like uh, the old Winamp uh, application. Uh, Falcon Leather says you have to port Media Vault to to Morphos. I would, but you have uh, a <laughs> way farer. You don't need that. Prasada, <laughs> uh, welcome. I listen to Parallax on Slay Radio. Good evening, amigos. Good evening to you, uh, Preseda. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so, what I was saying is that, okay, let's say that I would like to, to listen to Top 80 Radio. Okay, I can click on PLS. Wait for a few uh, seconds. I hope that it will ask to save it. Come on, no, maybe it doesn't work. Let's try the first one, sending the request, nothing. Download leaked file, in progress. Either I don't have a good connection on my um, on my uh, Morphos system right now, or the website is not working quite well. Let's try that on eyebrows. Internetradio.com. Okay, it doesn't look quite well, right? Let me select uh, rock, perfect, classic rock, Florida, perfect. Let me save that in RAM, okay. And then on AmiNet Radio, 
add files listen pls pre-buffering and playing just fine I don't keep it a lot for <laughs> the uh, stream so that it won't be uh, blocked so as you can see it uh, it plays fine let me close the music and uh, it works perfectly I did that a lot faster with eyebrows right and if you have it on your bookmarks let's say that I want to have that page in my uh, bookmarks uh, I'm in the wrong menu add bookmark so that page I can visit like that and select the radio station and play that on um, Aminet radio just fine and you can also uh, make a little bit adjustments on the settings of eyebrows and any of these uh, browsers to just click on the PLS and start the player automatically which if you want we can see that uh, afterwards Try Ami Gemini uh, MX says Try Ami Gemini also works fine on uh, Morphos. Yeah, Ami Gemini is working quite well. Falcon 11 says I browse is also good. Is uh, for me it's uh, for the website that I know that uh, they are working there. I use it a lot, especially uh, when I develop on my Morphos, uh, on my sorry, on my uh, Amiga OS 4, and it has, it is really fast, and you can search, for example, strl copy, some something's going on with Google today, or is it just me? Connection refused. Either I blocked Google totally on my uh, network or there's something wrong with Google today. Anyway, uh, I use the eyebrows to search for um, uh, many different things for when I develop, for example, a function or something, information. And uh, I like that uh, I get all the information quite fast and a lot of websites that are using uh, JavaScript uh, because the JavaScript is not working in eyebrows that well so I get the information that I want really fast and I don't care to, to wait for the JavaScript to, to complete now uh, let's have a look on uh, YouTube to be honest with you uh, with Wayfarer I didn't have a good um, I don't have a good um, experience with YouTube and let me show you why youtube.com although that it works well and uh, you see uh, everything appearing as they should uh, it's quite uh, slow and uh, most of the times the videos are not uh, working well let's have a look on how it looks here and I will show you what I do and uh, what are uh, what is my solution for that for Wayfarer and OWB actually that's a solution that I'm using on uh, Amiga OS 4 as well so if you go to, to YouTube as you can see here it takes a lot of time just to 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 load right one solution that you can do one thing that you can do is to let me stop that if i can 
no nah, those things those things are yeah you see it is working quite well but it is quite slow so what you can do okay uh, let me try that again is to use the mobile version of YouTube uh, that's what I'm using on uh, Amiga OS 4 as well because the the original website is not working at all there so you can do uh, m uh, youtube.com As you can see, the, the, the website is much faster and you can click a video, this family guy video, for example. And you can watch it inside a uh, Wayfarer. MXS Gemini protocol is like Gopher on steroids. Yeah, it's actually it's a little bit slower than Gopher. I don't have uh, much experience of Gopher to be honest, but uh, that's what uh, the developer of Gemini uh, is writing in uh, the documentation. If I'm not wrong, it's a little bit slower than Gopher, but it's much faster than uh, HTTP. Libelo says, is Ami Gemini a protocol you add to the browser or is it uh, the actual browser? It's on my docket uh, list to check out for classic Amiga. The Ami Gemini, there is an application on uh, uh, there is an application on uh, AmiNet that you can find. It's for uh, 68k and uh, you can use it on uh, Amiga OS 4 and Morphos, of course, on uh, Amiga OS 3. And uh, Gemini is the protocol um, that it uses. Yeah, as uh, MXS, it is, uh, it is a browser. Which is the best browser for Amiga OS 3? Uh, OP asks about that. And uh, for me, it's iBrowse uh, for any system. Uh, so now, if you have a really powerful uh, system, maybe you would like to use uh, NetSurf because it has a better um, rendering with uh, by using the CSS of a website. Falcon11 says, for YouTube.com is enough spoof as Safari iOS and you have a YouTube for mobile version. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, but... Uh, I don't know if this uh, works like that on youtube.com and you don't need to use m.youtube otherwise you end up with the same uh, website uh, Falcon 11 says OP81 uh, I browse is the best but also Aweb is good Aweb is good but for the Amiga OS 3 uh, it doesn't support uh, website that use SSL so um, it is useless for the I don't know 95% of website and yeah I prefer to use the m.youtube.com it plays much faster and the video is working quite well and let's see how it works on uh, OWB In case OWB redirects you, OW, uh, I mean the the YouTube when you uh, try to uh, connect to the mobile version of the website, it tries to redirect you to the desktop uh, website. Um, as you can see, it works quite well. 
let's see if we can find something to use to play some video let's try this one you will see right now that the playback of the video is going to be a little bit chunky okay we have some uh, ads of course it's you it's youtube what can you do uh, let's give it a few seconds as you can see all the javascript here is quite slow on owb and the video is a little bit chunky but uh, owb has some scripts that help on that and if we go to full screen it should play quite well but right now it doesn't to fix that what you need to do is to reload the page come on come on Okay, let's try again with this one this time. Hmm. Doesn't work. Let's see why. Uh, in scripts, you have the YouTube uh, full screen fixes and this one's here. So when you start a video, it should uh, play much better on full screen. Let's try this video. But sometimes these scripts are, are breaking and they are not working quite well. Uh, and you might need to refresh the page or something no so uh, as you can see the let me close that as you can see, the, the best way to, to play videos, uh, YouTube videos, uh, there's actually there's no the best way. Uh, it, it depends on your hardware and what you would like to, to, to use. Um, Wayfarer does quite well. Okay, uh, on this kind of uh, systems, if you have an X5000, Wayfarer is not able to play videos because the X5000 doesn't uh, have uh, Altivec, uh, the CPU doesn't support Altivec, so, uh, and the media player of uh, Wayfarer doesn't support CPUs that do not have support for Altivec. <laughs> um, let me see a little bit the chat. Uh, Falcon 11 says this go automatically if you spoof as Safari iOS. Yeah, that's perfect. Actually, I don't remember if it has that as Safari or, let me see. Settings. You have to set it as Safari iPad, right? Right, Falcon? You have to set it like that and this has the iPhone CPU iPhone here. So yeah, you have to spoof it as a Safari and actually when you um, visit that page, let me go youtube.com. Okay, let me try to go to the main website. Like that, you can save 
that setting to be uh, that website to be spoof spoofed with uh, the iPad one. Uh, Falcon 11 says yes, OWB scripts uses overlay on M player. Absolutely. Sometimes those scripts do not cut the page right or, and they do not uh, find the, the URL of the video and that's why uh, the, the M player overlay doesn't work quite well. Falcon level, you need you need to have the right shortcut to the video. Uh, the right shortcut to the video. Yes, prob probably. Probably. Yeah, if you have seen the in you know, OWB didn't have the the watch uh, uh, part of, in the URL. Uh, you can set up uh, for every page others other settings. Yes, yes. I have that on uh, OWB. I have at least I set it up a few days ago. Here on URL settings, I have M YouTube that uses a spoof to work. Um, so in uh, Wayfarer, if you go to this page, you have to go to settings and make it, sorry, make it as Safari iOS and refresh. And let's see if it will go to m.youtube uh, automatically. Uh, Lord says, watched Amiga Lab and Kicking yesterday, new Amiga documentary, it's not bad. Ah, the Lab and Kicking, yeah. It's not bad, it is going over people who are something in the Amiga world, events and such. Lot of new games presented, but not much talk about hardware. Yeah, I, I, if I'm not wrong, the Lab and Kicking was uh, a documentary to show the community of uh, the Amiga, around the Amiga computers, and um, how vibrant it is, and uh, what is happening right now, so many years after the uh, demise of uh, Commodore, but it's a very good uh, documentary. Uh, thank you, OP. Thank you for being here. Hope to see you again in a future stream. Have a great weekend. So, yeah. And of course, if you want to, to have a look on a stream uh, on Twitch, I recommend to use eyebrows. I have shown you that on a different of streams. If you go to AIO streams, uh, Amiga uh, projects dot net, you have an uh, eyebrows uh, friendly uh, website. And if you go and get, for example, for this, copy URL to clipboard and open the uh, AIO streams uh, scripts. Like Python, uh, tweets, dash you and the, the the URL that we got from that website. And if FM, uh, FF Play doesn't crash, we should have the streaming uh, playing in a few uh, seconds. Uh, Lipelo says, yes, you are absolutely correct. Community is in the main perspective. Yeah, yeah, and if we didn't have the, the whole um, COVID situation, 
this uh, this uh, documentary will be even much uh, better because uh, they will be able to get more uh, video uh, footage from uh, all the um, from all the events that will happen on during these years yeah as you can see ff play crashes crashed but if it if it uh, works at some point it works quite well but unfortunately it has some issues Uh, OP says hope you enjoy the coffee uh, if you if you refer to me OP and if you donated on my coffee page I would like to thank you uh, Falcon level says I need to check uh, your AIO streams yeah, there are, they are um, Python scripts. They are working quite well on um, Morphos. But the, the biggest problem on Morphos is the FF play that is needed to, to play back the videos from uh, Twitch. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes not. That's the reason why it is not uh, included in the latest version of FFmpeg package that was released fro for uh, Morphos. It is not uh, so um, so stable. I talked with the person that uh, did the port, and he told me that FF Play was not stable. That's why he didn't include it. I hope in a better um, uh, version, a better release in the future. If it happens, then it will work like the way it works on uh, Amiga OS 4, where you can uh, stream any video from uh, Twitch and play just fine. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. Sometimes it hap happens something like that, what you saw uh, earlier. Uh, let me give it a try again. Or uh, would you prefer to see how you can set up um, eyebrows to play uh, PLS files directly to, uh, to Ami Net Radio? Would you like to, to stay with me and uh, do that instead of playing with uh, AIO streams and uh, tweets. Uh, it normally works for me. I can recommend AIO streams for tweets. Thanks, Emek. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you use that right now? Uh, for uh, Falcon 11, for the, the website for this, um, for the streams is AIO streams dot Amiga project dash projects dot net and I made that to work well with uh, eyebrows because eyebrows is really fast and I don't need fancy way to, to show that things right uh, MX says I'm on my phone now. Thanks, thanks for being with us. No worries. Um, maybe it was. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, let's take this URL. And if you go to AIO streams and open. First of all, let me tell you that. Uh, for my uh, for that machine, I use 360p as a default. Anything uh, higher than that, it doesn't work well on uh, this machine. It uh, the video breaks. I don't know if it is a problem of the um, Wi-Fi connection or if it is a problem of the CPU or the um, uh, the graphics card. But anything above 360p is uh, breaking. And I believe that it's quite well uh, to, to use 360p and be able to have the CPU uh, in a lower level, the CPU usage, and be able to do other things as well. 
The other thing that I would like to see is uh, on config.py so I have autoplay here FF play yeah let's try that again uh, Python actually what uh, AIO streams do is to uh, go and take the URL that you give and try to find the video of the 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 URL of the video and the actual video and then feed that to the player that's all the the scripts are doing uh, if ever says is the problem with the IO streams always with the same URL or is it random and after it started will eventually work I think it's a random it doesn't have to do with the URL now I, I took another uh, stream and let's see how it works it is not uh, the problem with uh, the scripts but with FF play uh, why moderator deleted my messages uh, Falcon 11 m probably it's not a moderator that did that is the the bot that I have uh, from the stream elements maybe because you have the um, uppercase all the letters in uppercase yeah you use caps <laughs> As Livello said, I have to see if I have a filter about that there. Uh, And from this website, if you want to go and uh, search for streams, let's say if we write Amiga, uh, if I'm not wrong, it, it should work just fine. Let me see if I have any issues with my uh, connection to the internet. it seems that we are not connected great perfect uh, stream about internet and you don't have internet that's perfect or something crashed it might be the the ff play that it crashed and crashed the the whole uh, uh, the whole connection with uh, the network let's reboot again uh. yeah and um, yeah and uh, that's all uh, that i had to show you uh, right now um, is there something that you like to do when you are connected uh, to the internet with your friends or something and uh, you would like to see it here falcon 11 says but why all my messages it uh, deleted uh, more messages uh, of yours the only uh, message that I see it is deleted is the one that you wrote in caps. Uh, what else for the internet? Yeah, uh, we. I didn't mention the, of course, the RNO expert. Uh, I don't know if you remember. Uh, I spoke about this application it's also created by JPV and 
it's based on, uh, on Hollywood and uh, it is an FTP and SFTP uh, client. You can connect to any FTP client if you want or your server and exchange files. It has, uh, ac you can connect, let's say right now I connected to, to Aminet and you can search for uh, applications and you can download the, uh, says, can you cover Morphos productivity progs in one of your streams like spreadsheet stuff, uh, doc writing and paint programs? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, on my future streams, uh, Liberdot, I will do th the same thing that I did with uh, Amiga OS 4 and I will try to separate my streams in topics and cover uh, everything in, uh, in those uh, streams. For example, I will do a stream about office applications but like uh, spreadsheet and uh, uh, word uh, processing and things like that and development I got, uh, later. Uh, in my streams and also for painting, of course. But I don't know if you want to see more uh, modern applications that were made for um, uh, Morphos or you want to see everything. Of course, some applications that are from the, the uh, old era uh, that, is, uh, that are quite well and useful, I will cover them, but I don't know if you want, if you care to see everything. And music creation, if there is ProTracker or anything similar. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Music is going to be the, the, my next um, um, stream, actually, which is going to be focused more on uh, music players. Today we see, have seen some of them that you can use mostly to to stream audio from online radio stations and play mods from online but I would like to see other players that uh, are focused to play local uh, um, uh, media and also to create your own music like uh, programs that uh, are possible to, to use to create your modules and things like that and of course to process uh, audio uh, files Thank you, Emek, for being here. Thank you very much. Actually, I got to go as <laughs> well. And uh, let me let me um, put some music before we close. Um, so after a while, uh, I'm doing. I started again the the streams, and I I'm glad I'm having you all here. Actually. Uh, a few days ago, I had an anniversary that uh, I, for one year on streaming on uh, Twitch, and that's my that's my fair, first uh, uh, achievement, let's say. Uh, so for one year, uh, I have you all here, and uh, thank you very much for uh, being in my uh, uh, in my streams and uh coming and uh, joining me on these uh, streams and i hope that they are uh, useful for you all uh liberal says uh, modern applications are more important not car car caring about existing stuff from classic amigas thanks i will i will do that uh, liberal lord yeah absolutely so for the next uh, week uh, we will see something about uh, music and uh, the, the applications that are there and uh, uh, are available for everyone. Thank you very much, Liverlord, for that. And uh, with that, I would like to, to leave you. And uh, before we say goodbye, I would like to, to thank all of you for being here. Uh, I know that I missed a few, a few weeks. I missed uh, those uh, streams. Uh, but I'm glad uh, you are always uh, available whenever I stream. And... Uh, I thank you all and also I would like to, to thank everyone on my um, coffee page that I have and they support me and they donate to, to me uh, for keeping doing what I'm doing, creating these uh, videos, these streams and also developing applications that uh, are open source and uh, they are available for uh, 
Amiga OS 3, Amiga OS 4, and Morphos. Not all of them, but I'm doing things on, bo on, on all of these uh, uh, operating systems. Next time we will see the Light Excel that I'm working for uh, Morphos. Maybe uh, a sneak preview before I release it. Although it is, uh, the release is close for that application and for more people to try this out. And uh, also I would like to, to thank my Amiga pals, the, the monthly supporters that I have in my coffee page, which is Breed, Christopher White, Daniel Trexy, uh, Gentilica and Livelord. I thank you all of you guys again for being here and uh, if you want to to donate to to me you can visit my uh, coffee page which is coffee uh, slash volcano have in mind that your donations every at the end of every month 50% uh, of your donations are donated back to the community uh, I every month I find uh, someone uh, that is working on any project about Amiga, Amiga OS 4 or a website that deserve uh, our support and 50% of the donations are going there. Hello Mahed, uh, welcome to the stream, although I am uh, at, the, at the end of it, I, I hope you were here before so you have seen most of it. Uh, and yeah, thanks all for being here, have a great weekend and see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.